Did you hesitate at all? No. No. What, what was going through your mind when you found that your husband's going to need a transplant and you could possibly be that donor? Yeah, I was, I was excited uh, to help. Uh, and I was excited to give him a chance to live a better life again. Stacy, what was it like for you hearing that your husband is on, on a list for an organ donation, having, having lived through something that, um, that is uh, uh, life-changing, being on renal dialysis, and then an um, uncertain future? I think when you're sick for quite a while or have a condition, you normalize it. I think you end up normalizing whatever pain there is. You end up normalizing a different diet. <clears throat> you end up normalizing that you get hooked up into a machine every night. So uh, I think that becomes that sort of becomes your world. That said, uh, I, I was so happy to be his, his donor. You're right, I did put my hand up right away. Um, but even if <clears throat> I wasn't a match, which we were lucky and surprised and, and blessed, uh, they were telling us about this thing at the clinic called the uh, cross transplant, cross. Anyway, so I could have given my kidney to someone else on the list who was a match and then Mark would have gotten someone else's kidney. Did, did the two of you have a discussion with the kids about all this? Yeah, we have at different levels, right? Because the kids are different ages and at different levels of understanding, different questions. Uh, the primary concern obviously was, was the health, the fact that, uh, you know, if you're born with two kidneys, and doesn't that mean you have to have two kidneys to live? And, and so um, understanding that that isn't the case, um, uh, everyone felt more comfortable. Let's talk about the uh, relationship between the two of you that, that obviously has to be pretty special when you don't hesitate for two seconds to say, honey, you're taking my kidney. Yeah, I don't know. We've been together for 15 years and uh, we're a blended family. So uh, we've got great kids that, uh, that have been supportive and uh, a couple of them are adults now, but our littlest guy is, is, uh, is 12 and he's uh, He's high-functioning autistic, so I think he looks at it in a much more pragmatic sort of way. He doesn't get uh, wound up with emotions, so we can, we can talk to him on a fairly sort of level playing field, and as long as we explain things to him one step at a time, he's, uh, he's been really good about it. Yeah, so I mean, and Stacy's always been my rock, so I mean, uh, my success being chief comes because of the fact that I've got a very strong family, and she's got uh, one of the biggest hearts that I know. And uh, this is just another example of uh, the human being that I think that she is. I think this is the biggest challenge that the two of you have faced in your lives? This is a physical challenge. Uh, you know, the emotional, mental challenges, uh, I, I think, have, have, been, have been bigger. Um, this is a big one, though, I, I can tell you that. And, and uh, there are some nerves and there are some angst about this whole thing. But um, I'm, I'm, seeing, uh, I'm seeing the finish line and I'm, I'm seeing it uh, being a much better place at the end of the day.